Good almost afternoon. It's a very nice morning. It's We're gonna go get nice some. Morning. We're having a chill day. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have, go get some good delicious food that you've been wanting for eons. So long, and they've been like teasing on their Instagram, like because they had to like. They opened like right before COVID, right? No, they just opened. Oh. They used to be. It's called Winter Park Biscuit Company. It's totally plant based, like fried chicken, burgers, and just really yummy biscuits they closed and now they have a new place and so, it's so that's exciting. where we're going for brunch mm -hmm. and then we're going shopping Ooh. Oh, look how cozy this little man is these are my favorite jammies he's ever owned Good early morning. It is about 6.30 in the morning. I'm heading down Orange Ave. Now I know I typically, when I go downtown, run down Orange Ave, but it's early and it's for a really cool reason. I'm meeting my buddy Steve from Tampa. He is on his way from Disney. He stayed the night at Old Key West with his family, but he is running an in-person foot race. The Orlando half marathon they have to my knowledge it's like the second big um the second big race of central florida last sunday there was the space coast marathon but i've looked up what the safety precautions are taking at the start and finish line and everything and it looks pretty pretty neat I, i'm hoping to get close to it to check it out and to cheer steve on um not gonna lie got a little fomo going on which I have nothing to, nothing to blame except for myself because I didn't sign up for it. Track check wanted me to sign up for it. Steve wanted me to sign up for it. Um, but I just never did. Um, but I did run here. That's why I'm in this stuff because I ran from my home downtown to meet Steve. He's on his way now. Anyway, there's a foot race in Orlando today. Yes, foot race Saturday, expect delays. And I'm starting to see cops and street closures. I wish I was running this. <sighs> now I know. Next time I see a foot race in person, just sign up for it. Um, that definitely isn't usually there. That's cool. At Orange and Central. Oh, look at this big old tree at Lake Eola. What these nutcrackers? And look, runners. There's runners. I don't know where Steve is yet, but the runners are heading that way, which is the start corrals. Gotta find my buddy. And it's Track Shack. You guys know my favorite running store. They're actually the same managing team or company that manages Run Disney. So I'm about to go look at the start and see these safety lines. That's how they're doing it. And that might be how we see Run Disney come back in 2021. That's our same MC. Woo! Check it out. Yeah, everything's chip time. But they got they got dots, six feet. Every corral spaced out by a six foot limitation. I got confused. I thought Steve was I thought I was meeting Steve up beforehand, but he's already in the corral or getting ready for the corral, so I'm just gonna wait by the start for him. Look at this view. Oh I love this so much. Well I wanna be in there. We are pumped and just about ready for race time. Is anybody out there excited to get this race going this morning? Woo! Runners, set! So what they're doing is they're wearing masks in the corral until you cross the mat, the start mat, and then you can remove the mask to run. And then I think you need to keep your mask with you to put it back on after you cross the finish mat. I saw Steve way back there. Right there. He's got the mask on right there. Yeah, he's jumping. Yeah, Steve. 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 Good, good. He has been killing his running. 
He's been doing a way better job with the consistency than I have over the pandemic. I'm so happy he's running this. He's gonna kill it. And there's my friend Jared. There he is right there. Yeah! Woo! Go Jared! You got this, Jared! Woo! So Steve has been trying to get me to sign up for a few days now. Um, I just kept saying no for various reasons. But it's, so I texted him right before he started. I said, got the FOMO for real, but I totally could sneak into this race. Look at this. It's such a low-key situation because track check is a local race, but even that, because they're not planning for spectators, they're not allowing technically them. Um, it's just like this. Like, uh, I'm. A, it's funny enough. Like, I'm gonna go do finish my. I ran three miles over here, like to get to over there to meet Steve, even though I didn't meet him. So I'm gonna go run home and just put in whatever miles I can get in to get home. Good almost afternoon. It's a very nice morning. It's we're gonna go get nice some. Morning. We're having a chill day. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have, go get some good delicious food that you've been wanting for eons. So long, and they've been like teasing on their Instagram, like because they had to like. They opened like right before COVID, right? No, they just opened. Oh. They used to be. It's called Winter Park Biscuit Company. It's totally plant based, like fried chicken, burgers, and just really yummy biscuits they closed and now they have a new place and so, it's so that's where we're going for brunch mm -hmm. and then we're going shopping Ooh. Oh, look how cozy this little man is these are my favorite jammies he's ever owned okay. so i got the sick parking spot i got right in front now i gotta find sarah I got James, he's staying in the car seat for this trip. But look at this cute farming thing. I don't know if Sarah's showing up, but it's so adorable. All right, so we're at Winter Park Biscuit Company. Mm -hmm. and it's at it's, the East End Market on like, Corinne Drive. Yes. So like we're in line to get the hot biscuits. Mm -hmm. But there's like a market of, there's Gideon's Cookie, which is what's opening up at Disney, Disney Springs. Springs and a few other things. So I'm gonna go look real quick and look at the seating situation while Sarah's in line with the, with baby. the baby. Um, but you know it's a good place there's a line out the door that you have to wait for. So excited. In Alo's Cubano kitchen, elevated Cuban street food outside. It's cool high tops. So they just got this cool Skybird juice bar. They have Lineage, which is by, there's another one closer to Winter Park that we've gone to before. Farmhouse, cool signage. This, look at this, this is a plant, amazing, beautiful version of like Sugar Boo. And there's a line joint. This is Gideon's, which is like huge and amazing of what's opening up at Disney Springs. And this is what we're here for. Winter Park Biscuit Company. With the lines outside for us to order here. So that's great. And then we go outside. It's gonna be so good. And then Hickory Fancy Meats. Got some fancy meats. Ooh. And then a bread, old hearth bread stand. Looking real Real good. I'm gonna check out the plants for a second. But we're not far from ordering. Look at this. Each glorious small batch handcrafted almost half pound cookies, five dollars each. Look at these. Look at that. Limited edition cookie. Pistachio toffee coffee. Peanut butter vanilla crisp. Cookies and cream. Oh man. This is gonna be a killer at Disney Springs. Wait until you see inside there. It's amazing. You're gonna love it, but you have to wait because we're next. I didn't realize that it's literally just one person ordering. Yeah. There's a plant place that's like Sugar Boo. Do you know There's a leather mind? goods thing in there and lineage. That's where I'm gonna get coffee potentially from. There's a juice, fresh juice, plus juice. I did not even look, look at what yeah. I want, but all these tables have it and it looks delicious. These donuts are upstairs looking. I love anything with dirty pebbles on it. So actually all of the graphics for the Winter Park Biscuit Company were designed by Hellcats, the little store firm we went to a couple of weeks ago. Super stinking cute. Oh my goodness, here is their fried chicken sandwich with buffalo sauce. This is all vegan, so it won't hurt my belly. And then I got a biscuit with the vegan honey. I got the chicken box biscuit fries and three of these with two dippings. Delicious. That's herb mayo and buffalo. This is a ginger snack. This is from Lineage Coffee Company. Yeah. And then we got the banana pudding as well. Oh my goodness. And a side of pickled jalapenos. Yes. This is the herb mayo. 
What do you think? Does it actually taste like a chicken tender? For a chicken tender, yes. Mm -hmm. The bread again, I mean. There's all kinds of yumminess on there, too. It's a big old sandwich. We got it in Buffalo. They've got a gator sauce that they're sold out of right now. We'll have to come back and get it next time. Delicious. So good. Everything you hoped and dreamed. Mm -hmm. We remembered our fan for the first time, which was perfect because he's nice and snug and cozy in there. Sarah, what's the verdict? 10 out of 10? I agree. The pudding has like a weird consistency because it's like not it's real, pudding. it's vegan pudding. Mm -hmm. But it's got like a weird, like almost jello y jiggle to it. Mm -hmm. But it's delicious. And it's the like herb mayo. Top notch. The buffalo the, was good. It just tastes like buffalo. Though. Yeah, but like I, I'm kind of a buffalo purist, so I don't mind that. Yeah. We got these pickled jalapenos. So good. They're spicy, but they like have the like a banana pepper kick to it. Yeah. Overall, we'll, we'll be coming back. We'll be coming back. They also have an Impossible Burger that I hear is super. That they stuffed stuff them. So I, we didn't get it because I was like, oh, it's just an Impossible. It's just gonna be the same thing as everything. And then but I guess it's when right. we went to the coffee joint, the, the woman was like, did you get the burger? Because it's bomb. And we're like, what? Don't tell me that. She's like, yeah, they zested up themselves with like the pickle jalapenos, the gator sauce. Yeah, we'll be back. Stirring. We left the camera in the car, but we're using Sarah's fancy new phone. We've actually done some damage. We got James's gifts, two things that are like for the house. Mm -hmm. but, but these are actually our Christmas presents from my parents. Peter's parents or grandma and papa. Well, not good news. I just got a call from my VP. I have to hop on a call on a Zoom call here at Target in three minutes because apparently California hit 85% occupancy in all of their hospitals, so it's affecting. 25, 25 resorts or 25 counties, I don't, I have to look at the email for the details, but I have an emergency call to figure out cancellations and reclosures and everything. So I'm taking that from Target. All right, we got a little snackage, got our stuff. Sarah went to the car with James to feed him and get him situated. I got off my meeting. I gotta go home and do a little bit of work because of California's new restrictions. Perfect, thank you. All right, we are home. We had a little bit of crisis. James was beyond starving. So we'd like run in, so I had to feed him right away and I had to run in and get to, you can finish that, had to get to work. But I wanna show you what, so what we got, what we got from the gift cards from my parents for me, Sarah, and James. Here's what we got, what James got. We're about to bust that out, but I wanna show this real quick and take a photo of it to send to my parents before we're gonna see if he plays with that. It's all like noise and stuff. Bricks, Lego, big like, like plasticky Legos and this cool Mensa um, genius toy thing and then Sarah and I like got like a shared thing with our gift cards we got a new kitchen mat a new Christmas doormat this is super spunky I love it it's a 2 LP Frank Sinatra ultimate Christmas we're gonna start a, uh, our tradition is gonna be having that playing Christmas morning while we do presents every year and then an ab wheel because fit life you know so thank you to my parents you guys rock it's our first like noisy thing. It's gonna be <laughs> three in the morning and the ghosts are gonna turn the bed on in the other room. He just wants to look at me. <laughs> so while that's, I'm gonna open up the other stuff, but first I'm gonna open up this bad boy. It's, I just realized it says transparent green LPs. Ooh, like creepy nuclear waste. But look at this. Oh, look at that beautiful picture of Frank and a Christmas tree. Woo! So here's the different. Side one, side two, side three, side four. We're gonna just start from side one, White Christmas. All right, that is a cool translucent green record. Gonna pop it on. Please be plugged in. <gasps> no, you're not plugged in. All right, we're at the fireplace and the TV. Oh, it's been so long since we actually used this as a record player. <laughs> Sorry, I had it on the wrong setting. I'm dreaming. There you go. Otherwise, that velvety, velvety voice. Christmas. Sorry, Dan. No, oh, he's doing tummy time. He's got to grow that that next drink <laughs> to that big old noggin. Ooh. 
Christmas story is about to start, but a little fun fact. Sarah's not edited the vlog yet. We had an amazing day. It's 5.30. And we're just going to chill the rest of the night. And question, are the toys for James or are they for Dad? I think our adorable puppy loves our new kitchen mat. These boys are sleepy. Yesterday's vlog had like a two minute montage of how cute James is when he sleeps. He has, he always sleeps with his eyes open and so stinking cute. Actually, they're closed right now, but this is like my favorite picture ever. This is our Saturday night dinner. Oh, la, la. <laughs> Why are you looking up Phil Rosenthal? Because we, Sarah and I decided we're actually doing Christmas this year because usually since basically we moved here, our Christmas gifts to each other have been like our Chicago trip because it costs money to travel to Chicago and do an Airbnb or just the money we spend there. Right. So we're actually doing gifts this year to each, each other, and so, but I don't know what I want. What we got to talk about is that I just edited the vlog. It went up super tardy. And we did not do a good job of vlogging yesterday. One, when we were with the Peaches family. We just talk. We just talk. We forgot to tell you that we renewed our annual passes. The year four begins yeah. at the end of the month. The new Mulan? Our I'm fans. watching that again like tomorrow. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. It has just like, I think the difference between it and like a normal epic like fight movie fight movie war movie it's like it it had a lot to it so it kind of moved fast yeah um it was two hours. and then it was also a disney movie like it's still a disney princess you so know? we weren't saying blood and guts no did you guys know that i was a big christina aguilera fan as a child i was always christina you know, i'm a big sarah ryan fan i'm turned sarah brookhart <laughs> for none of you who knows that's sarah's maiden name yeah, the night is coming to a close, but he just had bath time and baby massages. We're going to read the story. Where is the green sheep? So I'm going to go do the message. And we're going to get going to bed. All right, today is December 5th. Bunch of birthdays today. Today's message is by Joseph Campbell. One way or another, we all have to find what best fosters the flowering of our humanity in this contemporary life and dedicate ourselves to that. Lots of selfies from this couch these days. <laughs> yeah, but they're good ones. Um, we just read a super cute story. We're all set for bed. We just gotta feed this guy and get him in a swaddle and off. Be good to go. It's pretty early for a Saturday for us yeah. for what we've been rocking. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>